Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Today we start case two. Hello, this is Maya. Hey Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How you been? Well, lonely. It's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping this evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like the statue, that statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Hmm. Well... There's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Conversation recorded, September 5th. 9.27 a.m. September 5th, 8.57 p.m. Faye and Company Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho oh, oh. ho, you are not carnivorous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. Ho oh, oh. ho, my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask for, for, for you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. No! This isn't happening! And like I mentioned, case one and case two, only time you get to see the actual killer. Like, getting caught in the act and such. Red, white, blue. That will become very important. You have no idea. September 5th, 9.08 p.m. Fan Company Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh? That's strange. The chief must have got home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Let's moda! That smell. Blood. Sis? Someone's there. Chief? Chief? Chief! Who are you? The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Okay, examine. Examine the body. It's hard seeing her like this, but there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. That gets out of the court. Hmm, there's some glass shards near the chief's body. 
must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the working. And that is added to the car record. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm? A piece of paper! It must have fallen from Nia's hand. What could it be? So, examine the newly found sheet of paper. A word written in, is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store, dated yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police and find out what that girl was doing here. And we try and call the police. Right, I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick! W what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window? She's staring right at me! She's holding a phone in her hand. Well, let's move back to the law offices. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya. Maya Fe. Maya Fe? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. So present the receipt. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. That's my name! Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would sis write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. Oh, the police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw murder. It must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya, wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me! This word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With a dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Oh boy. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out till the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6th, 9.07 a.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. G good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. But really? Whoa, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, I never thought... It, it's okay, I understand. And, I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Huh, so he crashed and burned. 
he's a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Ouch! Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Ouch, again! That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. N no, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But, at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to me, I... I know. So... There's something I've been wanting to ask you. 